ladies, 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 I'm here on the channel, and I'm here to uh, talk about uh, the second of a four-game series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, Zach Gallon got the start tonight for um, Arizona for the Brewers was uh, Colin, Col Colin uh, Ray, 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 how do you say his name? I'm not part of the nerd community. How do you say that name? Uh, but the D-Bates got another much needed win, man. Um, still fighting for that wild, and still that still in that wild card race, you know. Haven't clinched playoff spot yet. Uh, this is a huge series for them. They've took the first two games here on the road at Milwaukee. Uh, they got an okay start from Zach Gallon. He went five innings, seven hits, four and grunts, one walk, five strikes. He got still hit a bit more than you uh, like than you'd uh, like. He did get hit around a bit, especially in that um, fifth inning. So the first four innings went really well for Zach Gallon. But that fifth inning. Uh, gave up four runs there. Ultimately gave up the lead at that point. Um, D-backs were up 4 nothing had the ball in that fifth inning. And then uh, Zach Gallon gives it all back with those four runs in the bottom of the fifth. Because Arizona took, the, took a 4 nothing lead through the first uh, five innings, top of that fifth inning. Because Marte homered uh, on the first pitch of the freaking game. Homers makes it one nothing in the top of the first. In the top of the second, two runs scored in that inning. Uh, Perdomo with an RBI single, and Corbin Carroll with a sacrifice fly makes it 3 0. They score two runs there. Then the top of the fifth, Cattell Marte doubles, and Perdomo scores. So it's 4 0 there, but then the Brewers made their rally. All on home runs tonight as well in the bottom of that fifth inning off of Zach Gown. You have three homers. Then um, Joey Ortiz starts it off with a two uh, solo home run there. Make it 4-1. to one. Then William Contreras hits a two-run homer and a full count to score Churio. And then Garrett Mitchell homer. So he's hit two homers in the, over this uh, over these first two games in this series. So the, D, the, the Milwaukee Brewers got themselves back in this game. And I'm like, oh boy, here we go with the D-backs pitching. But luckily the rest of the game they were able to hold on and uh, put up uh, four scoreless zeros. And their offense... Um, and then their offense, um, top of the sixth, got right back uh, to it with Gurriel hitting a go-ahead home run to make it 5-4. Corbin Carroll with an RBI ground out and Randall Gritchick with an RBI bases loaded walk. To make it 7-4, which ended up being your final. So is that on an okay outing? Five innings, like I mentioned. Then their bullpen went four scoreless the rest of the way. Kevin Ginkle, one inning, one inning, two hits, no runs, no walks, one strikeout. Uh, Justin Martinez, one inning, got to a bit of trouble, you know, those two hits, no run, but no earned runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. Ryan Thompson, one inning, no hits, no runs, no walks, no strikeouts, a clean sports inning there for Ryan Thompson. And then A.J. Puck went one inning, one hit, no earned runs, no walks, and three strikeouts. To close out the game there, four scoreless innings with six strikeouts and three, Five hits, no walks. As for the lineup, let's go over these stats. Um, Twelve total hits for the D backs, seven runs, two in the one of the first two in the second, one of the fifth, three, three in the sixth. Twelve total hits for seven runs. They proved to a 86 and 68 record. The Brewers to a 88 and 66 record. They had 12 total hits for four runs, scored all four of their runs in that fifth inning. They dropped 88 and 66 here. So got those basic stats on the way here. Uh, let's go over the game here on this. You know, Corbin Carroll, Carroll 0 for 4, 2 RBIs. Cattell Marte 3 for 4 and a walk, 2 RBIs. Peterson 1 for 3. Gritchick pinch hitting 0 for 1 a walk and an RBI. Walker 0 for 5. Gurriel 2 for 3 a walk and an RBI. Jake McCarthy 0 for 1. Pinch hitting. Paven Smith 1 for 5. Eugenio Suarez 2 for 5. Gabby Moreno, 1 for 3 to walk, and Perdomo, 2 for 3 to walk, and an RBI. As for the Brewers pitching, Colin Ree, 4 innings, 5 hits, 3 earned runs, 1 walk, uh, 4 strikeouts. Uh, this is where it went, went uh, downhill, ladies and gentlemen. To DL, DL Hall and Jared Co Cohen. DL Hall, 1.1 1 .1 innings pitch, 5 hits, 4 earned runs, no walks, 1 strikeout. So, it didn't go well on those 1.1 1 .1 innings pitch. It doesn't get better with Jared Cohen. 0 0.2 innings pitch. No hits, no earned runs, but three walks and one strikeout. 
So the bullpen really costed uh, than the game, I thought. Joe Piamps, 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 how do you say his name? One inning, no hits, no runs, one walk, one strikeout. And then um, Kevin Hergett uh, goes two, two, two innings out of the bullpen, two hits, no one runs, no walks, and two strikeouts. Go to their offense here. Uh, two running, one for four. Trio, two for five. Contreras, four for five, two RBIs. Mitchell, one for an RBI. Pinch hitting, Eric Koss, oh for one. Adamas, one for three, one. Hoskins and Fraley will reach, one for four. Sanchez, over oh three. Pinch hitting was Jake Bowers, oh for one. And Joey Ortiz, one for four, an RBI. So I'll talk more about this game here. Um, this is a really important series to the, for the for the um, D-backs. And a tough loss for the Brewers, though, because they hit back-to-back blast to even tie this game up at one point. So they tied the game very fast, but then the bullpen blew it. I know you're still happy, you know, clinch the division, clinch the playoff spot, but you still want to end the season strong in with momentum. And, they, and these two teams maybe can face off face off in the playoffs. And I don't think the offense will be a problem maybe in the postseason. It might be the pitching. But this could be a playoff preview, you know, the last two games for the Milwaukee Brewers. No, no, but the offense needs to stop leaving so many guys on base, though. And they just strike out too much and only one walk uh, as an offense. They got to do better. As for the D-backs, much, too much needed wins here the last uh, two nights. Too much needed wins. You know, still in that wild card race with a few teams. Loris Griel can tell Marte Homer. And the D-backs, uh, they remain in the second wild card spot as of now. And A.J. Puck nailed down his third safe night and his first since August 4th with a squirrel's knife. And, um, quarter three strikeouts. But, yeah, um, just the D-backs offense was relentless uh, in this game. Clutch. 7-4, uh, D-backs wins, all I'm going to say here. So, yeah, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, leave a like, comment, subscribe for more. Check time out. Peace.